Good morning. Welcome to the Wax Wake Up for Friday, April 7th. I'm Christy Matino. New this morning, the White House is denying that any chaos took place during the Afghanistan withdrawal, defending its summary of administration-wide after-action reports that transfers much of the responsibility to former President Donald Trump. You gotta look at when he came into office, what he was walking into. He didn't negotiate with the Taliban. He didn't invite the Taliban to Camp David. Kirby said in a briefing on Thursday that although not everything went perfectly, he claims Afghans are now living better lives. Take a listen. There were children being killed. There were people hanging off of Air Force jets that were leaving. And you're saying that you guys are proud of the way that this mission was conducted? Proud of the fact that we got more than 124,000 people safely out of Afghanistan? You bet. Proud of the fact that American troops were able to seize control of a defunct airport and get it operational in 48 hours? You bet. And Tennessee Republicans voted Thursday night to remove two of three Democratic lawmakers who protested on the House floor. The State House voted to expel Representatives Justin Jones and Justin Pearson over their protests in favor of gun reform after the most recent Nashville school shooting. Jones said he protested on the floor to represent the 78,000 constituents in District 52 that he serves in the State House. Our the three expelled lawmakers joined hundreds of demonstrators who arrived and eventually entered the state capitol on March 30th. Later that day, the lawmakers stepped up to the podium to echo the protesters' calls for change. And what's trending? Country music stars John Rich and Travis Tritt are dropping their partnerships with beer brand Anheuser-Busch after their campaign with transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney. The campaign with Bud Light, which is owned by Anheuser-Busch, was to celebrate Mulvaney's 365 days of girlhood with commemorative Bud Light cans. Now, country star John Rich asked fans Wednesday which beer he should replace Bud Light with at his bar in Nashville. And fellow country singer Travis Tritt also announced he was removing Anheuser-Busch products from his tour hospitality rider. And that's the news on The Wax Wake Up. Be sure to follow us online and on social media so you stay in the know of all the headlines turning in politics.